Yup, as looks like the bell is already a ring as uh, both Ray and uh, Avina lock up in. Oh my god, her fish is kicked by Avina. <laughs> And a nice DDT by a Fire to a DDT. Uh, apparently, uh, Shiba, your cousin has a little fire under her. Someone needs to put a little fire on her ass. You'll probably actually do that in a literal sense, wouldn't you? I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> it still like we're going to have a pin attempt by uh, Vina. She's going for a pin one, two, and no. Not enough. Like you said, Miss A. Ray actually went before I even showed up. When you first started commentating here, decided uh, you, like you said, was running the place. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. She, as she is big, tall, and mean. The three things that you need. Oh, nice drop kick by. Oh, wait a second. It looks like a Avina missed that. Miss A. Ray might have actually ducked it. So, Siva, how are things in Wonderland? Oh, well, they wouldn't call it Wonderland if it wasn't, right? Right. Uh, that's why, as uh, Mary Tapper has, uh, she says brain says she is not just strong, but she is very smart. And, oh, big, powerful spin kick by Ray. Now the question is going to be, at least my question anyway, now is she saying brains, now is she saying that because she's pointing to her head, or is she stating that she has them, or is it the fact that she's a zombie and she's hungry? No, it's the fact that she's, she's, uh, basically, uh, here's his thing with Ray. she is not just all power, but she's smart on, she's very smart, and she has a very good, um, Ring psychology at oh nice neck breaker by uh, Vina. It caught uh Miss A Ray off the uh off the she was like Bew, er, right, and simple as that. Apparently she was gonna compliment her on her kick, I guess. Oh she was gonna say that she was beautiful. I wanted to, but Avina is right now aiming for her knees and she's just stomping on them. Uh, looks like Avina is looking to uh, basically cause some injury. As I'm going to tell you right now, as focusing on the legs is a good thing to do, especially against a much larger opponent such as Ray. A much smaller opponent like Ray Mysterio. And yeah, that's it. That that was that was awful. That, that, no. I know. I was just trying to lead off you, and it wasn't working. For association, you know, Ray, Ray, ha ha, never mind. I, I fail. Yes, you did, but oh my god, it looks like Avina is looking to lock in figure four going right after those legs of Ray. Speaking of someone who, ha who hasn't failed, she manages to lock that in. And it looks like somehow trying to gain some kind of advantage. Well, as, as Avina is yelling to tap out, as uh, <laughs> Ray is like, get this lunatic off me. Apparently, uh, she <laughs> trying to tell me Ray to tag out. I. Hey, well, well, wait a second, wait a second. Avina's grabbing ropes. Hold up, ref, break that. Yeah, ro <laughs> and I think uh, uh, Vina hurt you, uh, Siva. Good. Because I'm calling her out. She cheated on our, my match, too, with her. Right, as, nah. as I believe I recall that. I mean, I, uh, she threw you the chair, laid down, acting like she was out, and you got disqualified. So, yeah, you did, uh, she did cheat in your match with her. Yes. I can't believe she did that. Alright, looks like uh, Vina is just... Uh, here's the thing, I really don't know, like... I'm looking at Vina's style of fighting and she's overly aggressive. Well, look at her, especially compared to, like, wrestlers like Miss A. Ray. Um, she, I guess she's suffering, uh, like... 
the Holy hell. Hell. And then power haymaker by Miss A Ray just totally just about taking Avina's head off. Take her out, probably <laughs> just take her out as she says no more Miss Nice Girl and well Miss A Ray is not a nice girl. <laughs> I'm shocked she didn't lose her shoes in that spin. I'm shocked also, but it looks like uh, we just have to see what the uh, like what Ray's uh, plan to do as she's just stopping the way at uh, Avina. And right now, I'm gonna tell you right now, Ray does not care what like what like how you fight. She does not care. And should anybody? I mean, as she goes for a pin, one, two, and no. And I mean, I mean, yes, uh, yes, you you have to. I mean. It, it, what, I mean, there, there's, there's a way, but like, she does not, not care how you fight. It does, does not matter what type of fighting style that you do, as long as she's wants to, you know, bring the pain. As what she said right now. I think part of it is Avina is paying attention more to uh, Siba over here holding her belt, so she might want to pay more attention to that big figure yeah. that she's up against. And it looks like as Avina was trying to get up, as Ray just kicked her back down. <laughs> Ray is just pummeling her. It looks like she's going for a pin this time. And only a two count. And so, Avina uh, is uh, for the for the whole uh, big dog syndrome that Avina actually has, she's actually pretty tough and can actually back it up. But I don't know about this tower of a woman. Well, th this is basically a fight between a German Shepherd and Pitbull. Avina being the uh, Pitbull, uh, well, Ray being the German Shepherd. It's all about either the power of the bigger dog and who has the harder bite. Well, that's not exactly the type of breed I would have chose, but yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, I mean, I could have went with a, uh, I don't know. A pit bull, but I was thinking more of a Rottweiler versus a, you know, Chihuahua, but you know that works too. Oh, uh, you can't really call. Wait, who are you calling a Chihuahua? Vina, at least by the size difference. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Well, uh, question, uh, Siba, um, what do you exactly plan to do with uh, Avina's quote-unquote title? I mean, it's not really much, uh, like worth much. I'm going to keep it for a while. She can't take care of it. It's broken. The hawk's name is broken off the belt. She can't take care of her stuff. So I'm going to keep it for a while. And then let's see uh, if she appreciates it later on. Right, yeah, so it looks like Ray has that front face lock going on, and Ray is pretty damn powerful. But it's like I've always said, though, you know, even in the case of Chihuahuas, they are and, actually oi, more dangerous. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, big knees, big knees! But they are more dangerous than, say, the bigger dogs because they are made to rip flesh and not actually, you know, there's a reason why they're called ankle biters. But, nonetheless, like I always say, though, dynamite comes with small packages, and uh, Ray needs to be careful not to uh, open uh, that, uh... Apparently she got up, and, and then came, fell back and down. And she that down. <laughs> yeah, uh, Avina looked like she was trying to, uh... Well, Avina up, but, uh, Avina down. Maybe all the blood rushed to her head when she did that nip up? Bring Sally up, bring Sally down. Are you really singing a song? Yeah. 
Sing to while I do push -ups. Um, do yourself a favor and don't quit your day job and do it in private. Ha! Ah, and, ooh, it looks like Ray just sends Avina straight into the corner as, uh-oh. This is not good. Now the setup. Up. Ray is coming across the ring. And, oh! Oh, 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 oh my god! That was, she was playing possum there. Avina actually hits her face when with a drop kick, just dropping this A Ray. That was awesome. Well, Siva, are you gonna have the are you gonna have like the March Hare and the Field Mouse look at it and try to put it back together? Maybe. Right after this, I'm headed to Wonderland. I won't be back for over a week, so. So I won't be here next Thursday, so we'll see what she does next Thursday. Without Say hi to Red Queen for me. <laughs> oh, I will. And, and oh! As, uh, as Avina was going for that flying splash, Ray got her knees up. See, that's what happens when you go to Red Light District. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you go home with an extra present. Oh, but looks like Ray is getting up, and so is Avina. I'm glad nobody caught that. Alright, awesome! Savina says she wants to hurt Ray, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the reason why you don't want to go uh, head to head with a giant. You are a giant. That's true. It looks like a. It looks like they're ready to bow out again. And oh, right punch by Vina and go for no one. A kick to the gut as Avina's trying to, you know, just punch out as she goes to the ropes. And she's looking for it. Ah! Oh! And a death strike. strike! I was saying, get, you gotta give Avina credit. She's got some ovaries, but that overconfidence of hers is what just actually got her death strike. Yep, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I smell some money. <laughs> As I know what the Ray is going to be. Yep, as I know what Ray is going to be coming for. As it looks like Ray is going to be going for Payday! <laughs> so for the, that first problem and that second one. And she just called it a day. One, one two, two, and three. And, three. and ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Miss A. Ray! One the hell of a return for Ray, and unfortunately, it's one hell of a, for Avina. That was one hell of a return for Ray. And, <laughs> and Siba just asked Avina, Hey Avina, why is Avina like a writing desk? <laughs> As she seems to be making her way, well, maybe making her way out of here. As yes, Siva is making her way to the back with that belt. Um, I think if I was Siva, I would make a mad dash for her 
header mobile and go back to Winterland. If I was Avina, I would make a mad dash to go after my belt. <laughs> uh, there's, there is that option too, but I think I'd let you cover it. As that was one hell of a return to Hawks for Miss A. Ray, as she is back in the ring. I think though, Siva was playing a distraction tactic on Avina with her belt anyway, so she wasn't totally 100% in that match. But I still got to give it to the power of Miss A. Ray, whether or not that would have made a difference if she focused 100% on her. That would have been that it may have been a different story, but it wasn't the case right now. That's right, as I believe we're going to be moving on, as let's see with our production what's going to be happening. But, I mean, it, it, it's even so, there's, so, here, here's the talk of the, talk of the night, let's play the, uh, oh, yeah. What's up? What is it with these women that are rude, always interrupting us? But it's a certain woman that has returned, that has came back at dogs, I believe from a long while ago, Christina Krovak. As I said before, as Christina may heard made her, I like to say, returning debut at Summer Days. And she was dressed as the part, and I loved every minute of it. Indeed, as Hawks can only go stronger. As Casino says, yes, 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 I am here. And you'll have no idea how much I miss Hawks. But, I never missed. It's fans. Cause you all suck to be honest. I mean, seriously. You come out here. Here, week after week, cheering champions like Miss Misty, like Kendra Chemistry, Rosalind, they all suck. I am the one and only true champion Shut your goddamn mouth.
and I deserve what I never got here at Hawks. And that is the gold. I busted my ass off and I got nothing! Well now, you all saw what I was like when I'm angry. Smiley face. Right, Nanny? Uh, she did a number on uh, Nanny Gothley at Summer Days. Oh wait, she's hospitalized by me. Yes, people, I am here, and I am better than ever. Watch your backs, ladies. Because it's me versus Hawks. <laughs> well, oh, then, um, shots fired everywhere. Uh, the, Christina is on the warpath against everybody. She got against Hawks anyway. Well, like you, like she said, she's looking for gold, and she doesn't care who she has to go through in order to get it. I think that's what she's trying to say. I think she she pretty much says, "I don't care what I gotta do to earn gold. I'm going to get it one way or another." That could be any one of those titles. Like she, she says that it's, that's her versus Hawks. She is not here to make friends at all. She is here for herself. And that's what it seems like. And will it work for her? I have no idea. But she just put a big target on her back. That is true. I mean, she's calling out the whole, like, uh, back, uh, the whole back locker room, so. Yeah, she's pretty much caught out the entire roster. And I'm just going to be uh, going through and see what's going to become next. And, wait, hold up. Oh boy, looks like it's, uh, WMD is out here. And it's all three of them. Which means either A, someone's gonna have to talk, or all three of them have to talk, or somebody has words, or what? What I would like to have right now is for all of you fat, out of shape, morons to sit down, shut the fuck up, and listen to what my client has to say. Oh, and uh, Natas, what exactly has Detroit won the last ten years? Nothing. The town sucks, and you suck. Oh, and by the way, Isaac? I'd like a Coke on the rocks, please. Anyway. Kendra, I drew the only good thing out of Detroit.
So listen to what the champ has to say. Well, as you know, uh, I left the status on Facebook. It's my turn. Saying I had a major announcement. <clears throat> it has to do with what's going on, what's going on by perfect waste. Um. Got. Oh, it's on my perfect way. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it it's called reading. Jeez, Jesus Christ! For you to see, I have no competition. in the back is worthy to face me. And yes, I did. So, I'm going to fix that. Starting next week, the, there will be a tournament. The winner earns the right to face me for the Hawks Championship. You know, Misty, I think we should call it the WMD Invitational Tournament. I like the way that sounds. Sounds good to me. Plus, I already got the list here. The people who are entering this tournament are Gary, Kendra, I don't know. Sybil. Christina Korvac. It's Krovac. Hey. Christina, how's that? Anarchy. The little newcomb, Siba. Honey blunts. And, and yes, I don't know if they, the back heard me, but I did say Izzy. And, and. Oh, this will be a doozy, kids. This will be a doozy. <laughs> There's a problem. What's, what's the problem? I got a question what? mark here. Oh, really? Shifty eyes. Wait, are you sure that's not just some random scribbling from Tyler? Hell no, it's not! 
<laughs> what? The boot from Boots and Bombs is actually coming out here. That's not ladies and gentlemen as Stacy Grace is out here. Oh, what does the Dallas Cowboy want? You know, I think she's going to fare as well in this tournament as the Dallas Cowboys actually will. Hey, damn minute. If she's wait, in. Wait, in God's name, do you want him, bread? Uh oh. Our time hey there, is very Mr. valuable, Rock. Sand, sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Nick, shut up. Is that it for all of us? I'm not talking to you. What do you want, Jessica Simpson reject? Now, Messi, I know a secret you don't. Happy face. I have to say happy face. What, your breasts are fake? I knew that. Do you want to know the secret? Do you have a worse record than the Dallas Cowboys? Is that your secret? Nick, as I said, I wasn't talking to you. Well, so you're in the ring. You're in the ring during our time, so I can talk to you if I want. So, deal with it. Well, we got Stacy, get to the point, you're boring me. As I was saying, fans, do you want to know the secret? Okay. I know the final entrance. It's me. No, I didn't see that coming at all. That's totally. You? That's, that's, that, that, honestly, that that's that's fine. That's fine. You won't even get out of the second round. Yep, it's me. Not even getting out of the second round. Hope you enjoy that. Now, since I've been with Boots and Bongs for so long, I feel like It's time to take a chance at your title, Misty. Really? <laughs> you? <laughs> and honestly, I don't care if I have to take out my tag partner. When it comes to the title, Busted! 
I don't care who they are, I will take each and every one of them out to get that title amount around my waist. You do realize what you have to go through to get this. You've got to win three matches, and then you've got to beat Misty. Nick, I wasn't done talking. I was just making, I was just making sure you realized what you were in for. That's all. Shut up. Jesus Christ. You're calling yourself Jesus Christ now? Really? So, Misty. Watch your back. Never know where I may come from. Giggling. You people want to plot a lynching! How fucking dare you! How dare you! You people make me sick! By the way, other entrance? Don't bother trying, cause I'll be against Misty. Oh, there she goes. There goes Stacy. Guys, let's 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 get out of here. We don't need to be in Darwin's waiting room much longer. My our IQs are collectively dropping being out in this crowd. What a bunch of fucking morons. Well, if Kendra actually got the same education I did. Her IQ points they can't get any lower. Did you just diss your own self? Yes, but I also diss Kendra at the same time. I'm willing to take the shot. Uh, as I was, Stacy Grace is pretty much laying down law telling us, Hey, this tournament that you're going to be Harvey on Misty? Yeah, I'm going to be the one winning that tournament. It will be me against Misty, so that's gonna be a good. That's gonna be. That's gonna be interesting to see. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'll, I'll see what's gonna be going on as we'll be reading our sponsors. As let me I was gonna say, you gonna shall we pay bills? Yeah, I'll pay bills once I once I find them. Oh, well, while you look for them, I'll go ahead and start. Is that cool with you? Uh, that's cool. Absolute animations. Want to add some fresh new moves to your matches? Tired of doing all the same moves everybody else does? They call the best to create the best. The absolute best animations in Second Life are waiting for you. Contact Erie Mashiro, resident, for more info and pricing for custom moves and visit the vendor located in the shop. A. Also, be sure to visit their main store located in Coastal Breeze. Click on the ad board, ad board for a, a landmark. Okay, you got it? Alright, good. Avena's Weaponry! Avena's Weaponry is back on the Korea Sim and now features a subscriber to keep updates with the latest releases. Do you know that not only Avena is a wrestler, but a manager, cop, wrestler, and weapons builder as well? She even ripped off Voodoo's advertisement. Really now? Come down to the store in its new location by the big stage in Careers for all your 1-2 dual-handed sword needs. Need something custom? I am Avina, and we'll talk. No guns. Raging Grace Photography. We do pictures from singles to couples, family pics, kid pics, adult pics, those sexy hot under the collar pics, or collar photos, themed even pics for family. Our pictures have are, have reasonably prices, even packages. Standard rate is 20 lin per pic. Want to know more? Contact Rosalind Grace Rage or Piper 730 Resident. 
Tyrus the Nova, the blogspot.com, the blog by Tyrus Cerevi. If you want to find out all about your favorite wrestlers, check out the blog by Tyrus, with over 40 wrestlers already interviewed and more coming soon. I am Tyrus Cerevi for more information. Hey, hey, Stoker. What's that? In the wildfire! Ladies and gentlemen, are you looking to up your arsenal in blazing hot videos? Team Wildfire can make that happen with 100% custom videos as well as the fire package. Catch, uh, catch our classes at www.youtube.com backslash Lyra Team Wildfire. Contact Lyra Phoenix or Private Stroker over there. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn. DWRT, please join us on Fridays at 2.30 p.m. SLT for a Digital Wrestling Roundtable, featuring all the news that is news around SL Wrestling. Their studios are open on the island of misfit wrestlers where Kurt, Rama, and Lalandra keep you informed of the hot topics in SL Wrestling. For more information, please contact Kurt Bombastic, Rama Yoshiro, or Lalandra Lancaster. Honeyborn's designs for all those hippie, trippy moments in and out of the ring. Also, specialized gear to make sure you look great in the ring. At most of your favorite wrestling federations and Next Gen Central, please contact Honeyborn's resident for more information. Abysmal Neko Designs. Ladies, if you're looking for some awesome mesh that you don't need to shake your boobs for, wow! Check out those sexy designs at Abysmal Neko Designs on the career sim. Contact Lalandra Lancaster for more information. Also, Hawks t-shirts are for sale. Men's, women's, jackets, t-shirts, even hoodies. Brought to you by Honeyborn's Designs and Abysmal Nico Designs. Check out the entrance shops to show your support at, of Hawks. Also, like our Facebook page. Check out all the information happening here at the Hellcats Arena. Also, ask management for a Hawks fan tag. And remember, and remember, Hawks is like PBS. <laughs> it's put on by generous donations from fans like you. Please drop a donation in the tip thermometer located on the wall to my right. If you would like to sponsor Hawks, click on one of the ad boards on the wall or contact Honeyblood's resident for more details. Now, that's been the ads for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go move on. Let's see what's up. Let's see what the production has to offer. Let's see. Hell, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. Let's make some noise, people! Alright, 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 alright! Well, uh, alright, so I guess we'll be introducing for our next match, eh, Natasha? You want to introduce her? Uh, Nazas? Yeah, 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 I'm with it, I'm with it. Hang on. Alright, standing at 5 foot 10, weighing 145 pounds, from the Eye of Terror, the Anarchy Fate Weaver! Woo! This is gonna be interesting to see. In that Pokemon. Here she comes, and what? Really? Come on! <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, hold up. Well, they're supposed to be Pokemon. I did, did, did the whole talk to Pokeweaver actually create a new species of Pokemon? Yeah, I mean, th th I mean, where's? Come on, like, come on now. That that was a legit match. <laughs> Did she really think <laughs> we were going to come out dressed like Pokemon? <laughs> Well, yeah. Really? How dumb are you people? 
Um, hi Anarchy. Izzy. I'm sorry, I'm scared now. Mm. No, 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 no. We, we don't do a dancing. We don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> now, bring out Goldilocks so I can beat her up and get on with my night. <laughs> uh, can't say I'm uh, very, very disappointed, but uh, as you are, the show must go on. So, it is. yeah. So I guess I'll be introducing her opponent. So, introducing her opponent from Homegrown USA, weighing at 135 pounds at a height of 5 foot 8, she is Honey Blunts. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm personally a little bit disappointed about this. I was actually looking forward all week to this. I think even the crowd is, well, at least was, and they're gonna disappoint the fans. And... Where's Honeybee? Um, hold up. Let me see what the hell's happened. I don't know where. Well, can you do that? I'm trying. I'm trying to find out where where Hubby is 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 at right now. She's supposed to be coming out here, but uh, there's no word on. I got nothing right now. I'm. I literally have no information. Where, where's Hubby? Hold on, wait a second. Yeah, I got... So, she's apparently out cold backstage. Like, out. Who would it... Who would have done that? I don't know, but it sounds like that she's been attacked. But the first thing people would think is too much weed. <laughs> I mean, it is honeybee, for God's sake. No, but she's been attacked from what I've been hearing. And, what the? Um, I got nothing. Dear, I guess she's too scared. <laughs> well, uh, the only other option is, uh, uh, Alex, uh, would you care to come in and, uh, count Honey out? But wait a second, but she's out cold backstage, like, you just... Still a match. Count her out. Well, the bell hasn't rang, and I, Man, I'm, not gonna argue with, I'm not going to argue with the Fate Weavers. Man, talk about disappointing your fans. Talk about disappointing everyone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, we really give a shit about the fans. Stupid little fools. Thought we were going to really dress up. Stupid That's idiots. And I guess the winner via countout is... <laughs> that was the fastest count I've seen, Alex, but... <laughs> I guess the winner via countout is Anarchy Fate Weaver, but... Th th this is... no. You gotta think, Alex don't like doing countouts, and she don't... Anything that puts a lot of effort into it, she kinda don't like, uh... She don't like doing, so she just jumped and went to, did it by fives. 
Like, but seriously, it is a. It was a match. It was. You oh, know, the bull bull was a match. I, I'm just stating the obvious. He didn't come out to the ring, and as rules apply, once the match starts. She was out cold backstage. I know, and the thing is, is I, I don't know. Apparently, Hawks has different rules for that, or at least the Fate Weavers have different rules for that. Um, but usually, it starts when both opponents are in the ring. But apparently, uh, apparently, uh, that's not that's not how Fate Weavers run. Really. Man, uh, man, I mean, I, I'm just gonna be honest. I was looking forward to um, actually being like Pokemon suits and. They, then seriously, the fans did they, they, really, they, they didn't really like get get what they des- the fans didn't get what they deserved. They wanted the fame with the Pokemon suits as well as I wanted to see them in Pokemon suits. I mean, I asked myself being called this name. Come on now, can you at least share the embarrassment? I mean, anyway, they, they they didn't stick to their words, so it, you know I mean it, it, they made a deal and they would have made. Overdrive go through it, but I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the uh, general manager's got for us. I'm talking to them. <laughs> but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're going to be moving on to something that we call, uh, I don't know, uh, the top, what do you think is going on right now? I have no idea. I, I've just gotten lost. I've got a loss too, but uh, I have an idea of what's going to be happening next. I just want to get verification before I actually say it, so I don't sound like a fool. But I believe uh, it's going to be our uh, main event. Main event, people, main event, let's get crazy, people! Make some noise! Alright, but ladies and gentlemen, so introducing first from Springfield, Tennessee, weighing 155 pounds, a high of 5 foot 7, she is your hardcore champion, Vaseline, the Black Panther. Now what's funny is, is Rosa end up winning that title from Anarchy Fate Weaver. So, Fate Weaver's trying to get it back? Guess so, but it's just Mike now. Oh, go right ahead. Take, take it. I, at this point, I don't care no more. Just take the mic. You know, I'm really starting to think that boo is all you pathetic, worthless people know how to say. So, two weeks later, I still got the belt. 
Little Miss Dream thought she could take my belt from me. Well, guess what? Just like I said from the beginning, she wasn't hardcore material. So, the last two weeks, what have I been up to? I've done a little thinking. I've done a little changing. And I've decided that I'm going to be the bitch again. Because I'm tired of not having decent competition for my belt. I'm tired of not having hardcore matches for my belt. So I'm hoping tonight's opponent, who happens to be the wife of the person I took this belt from, I'm hoping she can give me the fight for her life. So production monkeys, play the damn music and bring her out. Well, as she states, her opponent, standing at 5'11", weighing 150 pounds from the Eye of Terror, Izzy Fate Weaver! I still want to see a Pookie Weaver. I don't care what anyone says. All I know is, is hopefully Anarchy doesn't decide to lean over us right now either. Well, I mean, this is going to be an interesting match. It is a hardcore match. So, as for the hardcore titles, so we're, we're going to see what's going to be going on. So, uh, for F, uh, might as well win the bell because there's no rules in this match. <laughs> this is the place where pretty much all three of these women thrive. And, I mean, Anarchy held that hardcore title for how long? For a good long while now? That's true. But, but looks like the girl Rockman. Oh! Is he just jumps in and just goes and wails onto Rosa? And Izzy right now is making short work, but Rosa's coming back with a series of punches. And they're just punching. Oh, as Rosa hits an arm by takedown. And right now they're starting pretty technical. Not exactly a hardcore, but I guess I'll work into that.
busy working her, using her strength and working her way back up. And uh, oh, into that range. Yeah. You said. It looks like a Bosa's going for it. Oh, but it looks like Izzy's trying to escape from that. She just flipped it around and gets Rosa down to her back. That's the thing about it, you can't. Uh, I, it's pretty much, uh, I believe Rosa really knows. You can't count, you can't really count either of these women out. Not after the match we have saw with the Ring of Steel here at Summer Days with Rosalind. Is he in any of her matches? Um, it really, I mean, you can't count either of these women out as it all goes on. That's true. But you see that counter after counter after counter. I mean, and this is going to be, this is the man that has, Alex is just kind of, Pretty much laying in the corner. And a flapjack as Rosa ran right back <laughs> to, right back to, uh, Izzy. Indeed. And it looks like, ooh. Alex just tells him, try not to use this corner. I think she has cla stakes claim there on that corner. Right now, which was about to ropes. And oh, it was the second knee right to the face. I I'll let you call it because I still want to call it something bad. Anarchy out here is growling, so as right now Rosa is stomping and Izzy is trying to get out from underneath her feet. That's right. Oh, a kick to the gut. Nice corkscrew neck breaker bringing Izzy down onto the mat. Well, main event, Alex actually has it easy. Just, she don't have to do anything but count one, two, three. And right now, Rose, uh -oh. Izzy taking Rosa down with that uh, leg sweep. Crap. Well, the leg sweep to set up for the uh, Boston Crab. The Boston Crab. Well, Alex well, did say yell you, if you, you want to give up. You hear Rosa screaming. <laughs> She's going to the ropes. Now Rosalind is reaching for them ropes. Hopefully to get a rope break of some kind as Izzy is just wrenching on her back. Think oh, about this. She's moved for ropes, and she grabs the ropes. One, two, three. <laughs> she let yeah. go until four. <laughs>
Well, yeah, I think this is hardcore rules. So there is no rope break. Yeah, well, unless uh, Izzy just breaks the hold. So, I mean, that's the thing about there is no rules whatsoever in this type of match. I mean, they could go out and grab a crowd member and use them as a weapon, for God's sakes. No, please don't. Uh, you I do don't want no, 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 no. And Izzy just choking, uh, choking Ro Rose's uh, neck. So. <laughs> well, I, the, I, the idea wasn't for anybody to use, it was just an example. That's all it was. Yeah, we're not really going to do it. I don't want that lawsuit on our hands. She can vote by her hair. Nah, he's not thinking. No. He's saying, she's talking to Anarchy saying this is for you. And oh, Face Buster. And now Rosa is pretty much at the mercy of Izzy. And it looks like a, it is a done enough for do her job, and she's going for pin one, two, and no. Only a two count. A vicious beating that Ro that uh, Rosalind took. She only gets a two count. She's just stomping down. And here she goes for that rage that she shows that she's just been angry. I'm more worried about when she bites her lip. Right to a leg drop. Actually, when Izzy bites her lip, it's a, it's a roll up! Hey, roll up! One, two! One, two, and no! Now it's looking like Izzy is. Well, there comes a growl from Rosa, and Rosa's not happy. Nice swinging neck breaker there by Izzy. There she goes, there she goes to ropes and oh she goes and manages to dodge and run right into a drop kick. Definitely showing the speed and awareness of Rosa as she just totally caught uh, Izzy off guard and totally just dropped her with that drop kick. By the totally sir. Anarchy, you, you okay over there? Anarchy? That move she calls the Rebel Uprise. Not sure why, but... You know, I don't think she has one move that isn't renamed. I don't think so either. And, uh... Oh, there she goes. Ooh, kicks a gut. 
Um, Stroker, we might want to yes. move. We might want to move. What? Anarchy's whispering to nothing. Maybe nothing has nothing to tell Anarchy. Hey, everything is possible, just like the song. Oh, there she goes. Uh, there goes Rose Lights to Rope said. Oh! I think she's going for that panther kick. There she goes. Ow! Oh, kick to the side of the head. And that's definitely one thing that Rosa really relies on is her kicks. Her leg strength is unmatched. Except for maybe Ter uh, Terra Titans. Did you, did you see the size of the, size of the things? It's like... Size of, what I see the size of her arms. It's going on kicks, but even her arms, yes. With a nice corkscrew neck breaker there by, uh, <laughs> by Rosa. <laughs> I just, I, I, I am too, I just don't want to meet her in a dark alley. I want to get on her good side. But anyway, back to the match. Indeed, uh, what is Anarchy? What's Anarchy looking for? And oh, if, leg chop. If it's if it's under the ring, it's probably a weapon. Knowing the fate weavers. That's true. And this is a hardcore match. So anything can go. And there you go, as what you said about that bind the lip and all that jazz. But she does, but she gets to the red light district and does the revolutionary uprise. I wow. And wait a minute. And yeah, Aki, I think she found what she was looking for. Izzy with incredible speed actually now as Rosa was approaching her, she got up and just took her legs out from underneath her. Oh, Izzy is picking up uh, Rosa. As she hits the heretic pike, that should be it. It should. As one, one two, two, and only a two count. Wow. Great, we've got Izzy biting her lip and grinning. We've got Rosa growling. Anarchy is going to Anarchy goes statistically. <laughs> like, really, what the hell? We just got a feed nut job in the ring. That's all we have. Apparently, uh, <laughs> maybe Anarchy still lose, lost somewhere looking for something? Uh, uh, I think I know what Anarchy is looking for, though. That's the escape part. <laughs> I think it has a specific name to it. <laughs> Betsy or Bubba or, you know, Bubba's Hammer? Or, or s something like, like, I don't know, Bulma? Or something like that? Maybe they be. Right now, there was a. Uh, Roslyn ended up getting thrown into the ropes, but she used that momentum to springboard herself over for that bulldog. And oh, oh, let's do a butterfly suplex. Which was beautifully done. Oh, 
And now Izzy's finding herself in that corner. Oh, this is bad. And he's doing some martial arts kicks there in the corner, sending Izzy into a, basically a tailspin, so to speak. Sorry, she, oh, she, she pushed the weight Izzy right now. And uh, uh, yeah, and uh, you're scared me. And oh, she went for that corner kick, but Miles uh, Rosa was quick to slide it out of the way. And oh, she's going for that paper because oh, right to the back. Is that kind of ironic? She's going for the pin now. We split one, two, and three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this match and still your hardcore champion, Rosalyn the Black Panther. And Rosa gets the help out of there. I was gonna tell you right now, the family members are not on a good vault. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that has been it for Hawk's Indulgence, as that has been our uh, main event. So, uh, we're going to be closing out the show. This is your Captain Private Willie speaking, alongside with Natasha Grimmore, as his uh, 
Bye bye. Not here yet. But we'll see you guys next time. And actually, I'm probably going to just jump to the crowd since uh, I did not get my Pokey Weavers. This video was filmed on location by Zarakin Productions. Zarakin Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakin.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakin Productions, and their own media links. Zarakin Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1 and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakin Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.